five. I think I need to run out and send her the link because I don't have Facebook Messenger on my phone. explain these 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 are capris and these are like Mexican capris and so they have like a lot of extra room and they're really short in the front and I'm really long so um, if you see me hiking my shorts up that's why I really need to put a belt on but my back is hurting so bad right now I'm not even gonna mess with it all right hopefully hopefully I have everything in here Oh, thank you. The other one's on my leg. I put my tattoos. Let me get up on the stool. I put my tattoos where I could still enjoy them, but they would be covered if I'm wearing, you know, like normal shirts. I think this is a teens shirt or something. It's something I've had for like two decades. Um, but the black rose is for my sons. Both my boys have died, and then these were magenta colored ribbons. Needless to say, they are. The line work on them was done when I was 23 and it's old and I need everything redone, but it is what it is. So hello Adriana, at least you get to see me like this instead of like you recording a video and then me recording a video and I'm looking awfully yellow today. So. Um, that's usually what I look like anyways and depending on how high my pain is for the day depends on how yellow or green I look <laughs> so um, I pulled four eyeshadow palettes I know you were talking about buying these palettes so I pulled four BH palettes right um, well, I told you I got, I did my skincare and I, I use, let me show you a secret. Now, I've talked about this. Actually, the review video for the first impression video went up for this yesterday. Oh, come on. Where did you hide? Nope. I have an entire basket of skincare right here. Where? Where is your companion product? I know I put it back in the... Did I put it? I did put it back in the basket. Why am I not seeing it? Are you hiding from me? Oh, there you are. Hiding behind my deodorant. Okay. So, in an Ipsy a couple months ago, I got this Elemis Superfood face wash. And then in my latest... It was either, um, yeah, well, both of those really aren't that great for your skin. So you'll have to watch some of my skincare videos. <laughs> but this I either got in my BoxyCharm this month or last month or my Ipsy. And this is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Face Mask. I just literally put up a, a first impression review of this. So in the mornings, if I wake up and I am feeling rough, like, like I look like I've been out drinking all night even though I don't drink. Um, I have found that washing my face with the superfood face wash, it's kind of like giving your face a smoothie and smells like a, a one of those green smoothies that those people drink in California. Um, I've never had one. I've, I've seen them, I've smelled one, I've never had one. So 
I'm not quite sure what they taste like, but this smells like what those smell like, and it really kind of like, it takes your face and goes, and it's like, are you awake yet? So um, when I messaged you earlier to make sure up, I came in, I washed my face with this, and then I did this mask because it's kind of like a double punch to the face to wake it up. And then I came in with my Peter Thomas, or the First Aid Beauty Acne Clearing Pads because I've got a couple breakouts that are starting to pop up on my chin. I used the Sephora under eye that's like a hydrating under eye cream this month for June. So this was only $3. It's worth like almost eight, but the full size of this is like 50 bucks. I do two, I do one drop on either side and just, I just, whatever's left on the tip, I just kind of take across my forehead and down my nose. So this is the Red Earth Brightening Concentrate with, um, it's an oil because I have like super dry skin. I put that on and I do eye cream first and then I do that and then press it in the skin. And then since I got this a week ago, I've been using this every day as like a nighttime moisturizer. This is the uh, Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Waterfall or Waterful Glow Cream. This stuff makes my skin feel like baby butt soft so it's amazing um so i put that on over it so right now my skin is like really 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 hydrated yeah my i could actually probably show you right here i've got like this dry scaly patch that i have to like super hydrate daily i can literally do this most of the time and i've got like little flakes that come off i've got real ashy ashy skin in certain spots of my body so i know all about dry skin um the what i usually use for dry skin is this shea moisture the african black soap moisturizer and i, I leave it upside down because it's a very very thick formula it really needs to be in a tub and i'm down to like right here and i've been using this since like October of last year and I mix it with the Walmart version of the Aveeno this is the knockoff version of the Aveeno daily moisturizer hey frog um, and I mix I do like a squirt of this and a pump of that and then I mix them together and this moisturizer lasts on my skin for 48 hours even through a shower so I can put it on after a shower and I, I dry off, some people don't, they just put it on over wet skin, that's kind of weird to me. Um, and then I do whatever else I would do and then brush my teeth and go to bed, that kind of thing. Um, and then if I shower like the next morning or the next night, I, I don't have to reapply that to like the next day because that stuff is like amazing. I can't do a lot of Jergens products because of the ingredients. So, my nose is now starting to run. Let me grab a tissue. <coughs> okay. Get my britches pulled back up. Um, I've. And it's causing me to cough. Every time my nose runs, I have to cough. I look like I was cooking. And I am recording, I guess I could pull that closer. I've got my regular camera set up on the other counter so that it can catch some of what I'm doing so that um, if I need like video or something, I do have my big camera uh, also set up. Um, I'm on my iPad. I need to get, I, I save, I have Dropbox on both. So I can look at the pictures, I save the pictures off and then usually what I'll do is I'll use my iPad which is on my other YouTube account because I have two, I have two channels. Um, and I will use my iPad to like look at chat and stuff because as soon as it pops up on my phone, before I'm even done reading like the first three three words, it like vanishes off my phone. So it's, it's hard to keep track of that. I'm trying to get... Did you turn the right direction? Thank you. 
having technical difficulties. What what is for sure? What? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do some like business stuff and then we'll get into the actual makeup but I did pull as much affordable makeup as possible and I know we talked about like base products and stuff like that but I have a couple of ideas um, and for those if you hear me use the word red bone in this stream don't be offended it is a definition of her skin coloring she is a beautiful like light milk chocolate with pinky rosy undertones to her skin um and growing up where i did all the black girls and stuff they all had like different terms like oh i'm milk chocolate oh i'm dark chocolate oh i'm a red bone so um to me having those terms used is not offensive to floridians i guess you could say or at least the people i grew up with and um I'm sure if you did try and fight me on it, my girl Takeda would probably get in a fight with somebody over it. Um, but that's just how it is. I am very uh, light skinned. I am very warm. I'm a very, very warm green, yellow undertone. Um, but I'm also, believe it or not, Cherokee and Seminole Indian with a touch of Mohican in there. So I'm not just a white girl. Um, I'm part Native American as well. Uh, so I don't look it. I am very white, as you can see. I'm very pale. Um, I am the same color from head to toe. The only thing that's darker is if you look, you can see the dark line on my chin that goes up. This was from a skincare product that darkened my face because my face is darker than the rest of me. It's even darker than my hands. Um, and the YouTube app just, app just crashed, so I'm loading again. Um, okay, so maintenance stuff first. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, my friend Frog, who's actually a moderator on my channel, has a YouTube channel. She just posted like a rainstorm ASMR video the other day, and I love rainstorms. So when we had one the other day, I recorded one myself. Um, she did... A giveaway kind of like a sneaky giveaway on her channel and she um, she put like the giveaway information at the very very end of the video so you really had to watch the whole thing and I'm the kind of person that when I watch a YouTube video I do watch the whole thing I watch from start to finish um, so that's just me and so she sent me I won the giveaway, uh, so this is technically the second giveaway that I've won ever in my life. The first one was with Samantha March, and I got, where is it, and I, I use it. It's the Stands Out Beauty Sponge, it's the weird like memory foam sponge. So I got that, and she sent me this beautiful card, and this is absolutely a gorgeous card. Ooh, the thing's falling out of it. Um, I would actually live somewhere that looks like this, except for it's missing a few extra trees. But um, I, she ended up sending me a gift card for Apple, which I'm recording on, and I, I'm doing this on an iPhone, and I have an iPad. These are the only Apple products that I own. But, um, oh, I got it. I got it working. Yay. Okay, so I can see all of chat on here now. And I will say hi from this one. This is in my other channel. So... How did I get emojis? I must have touched them wrong. Okay, so the account I just said hi from, that's my other channel. So if you want to go peruse that one later, it's there. At least now I can see chat. Um, so she sent me a really beautiful card and um, I got the gift card. So this was from a giveaway on her channel. She only has, a, uh, this was for her 100 subscriber giveaway. And I have a giveaway going on on the other channel as well for me. I'm giving away um, a handmade pair of earrings and one of these. I ended up not realizing when I bought it, they come in a four, I bought the four pack and not the single. So I'm giving away one of these as my 100 subscriber giveaway on that channel because with this channel, I never really, um, I never really did that kind of thing. I didn't do like milestones because like for the longest time I had like 27 subscribers and then the next thing I knew I woke up the next morning at like 300 and then like 
two months later, I had like a thousand subscribers, but this was before YouTube changed everything. So, um, and then my friend Tammy, who's also a subscriber, she sent me like a care package and she sent me this really beautiful silver heart. It's not silver. It's um, stainless actually. It is a heart piece sign necklace on a beautiful Rolo chain that looks like it's 24 inches long. Let me, you can put on my buns. It, it might be 30 inches long. Anyway, so I love like hearts and butterflies and dragonflies, frogs, um, horses, things like that. But the majority of my jewelry, um, if you ever look at anything that I wear that I made, it's mainly hearts. So I love wearing heart jewelry. She also sent these Fabletic makeup removing cloths, which I actually stuck my finger in here. Um, I've never owned anything from Fabletics, and I have these makeup removing cloths that I bought from Amazon. This one I've been using to take swatches off. I've recorded like four swatch videos this week, so it's it's all all dirty. Looks like there's two in here. God, that feels like. Oh, sorry. Um, it almost feels this. Uh, it's so much softer than my bed my bedspread. But I have one of those microfiber like blankets on my bed, and that's what this feels like. So she sent me this. So I will definitely be using those. It looks like that's a two pack. So there's another one in there. She also sent me an actual beauty blender. I've never owned a real beauty blender at all, and it's got a little bar of soap in the bottom so you can wash it. I own, I have the Beau Gauche, and I have one from Japanesque, and I don't really use like the big ones a whole lot. Um, I also have a Sephora one, And then I have an Eco Tools one. Oh, Jesus. I took it out of the thing and it went sprung in behind it. So these are all of the like big sponges that I own. And then of course the Stands Out Beauty one. But what I mainly use, let me squeeze the water out of it because I had it sitting in water. Um, this is a little, I, yeah, sure. I mean, some of these are like really firm. Oh, I'm losing my eggs here, I'm losing my eggs. But this is the Real Techniques one, and this is like the little baby one, and I use, um, this is mainly what I use because I don't really wear foundation. So I will, I'll definitely do like a comparison review because I've never owned a beauty blender. So I was like really excited to get that. And then we put these guys back in the little home, try and keep some of the cat hair off of them. I'm gonna need to probably move this down anyways. And then the last thing that was in the box, I've already stuck my finger in it, and I have a picture, is this Jeffree Star Supreme Frost. Now, I only own one other Jeffree Star item, and I did borrow, no, I own two because I have a lipstick. Um, I borrowed money from my dad to buy the Blue Blood palette. I guess I could put the microphone on, huh? I got it out. I was looking for it. I don't know if it makes you hear me any better. Um, this is in the shade hypothermia and I didn't want to break the seal on it. So I, I did what Jeffrey says to do and just popped it out the bottom. And this is one of the Supreme Frosts and in different lighting, it looks different. It is like looking at it face forward. It looks like blue and pink and purple. But if, if I shift it up like this where the ring light can hit it, it looks peach. See how it looks kind of peach? And then if I like cover part of it, you can see the other colors. And then when you swatch it, it looks kind of like on the skin, but if you take it away from like a direct light, like the ring light, it looks like a light lavenderish pink color. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So she sent me that. So now I have a lipstick, a Supreme Frost, and his uh, Blue Blood palette. So I'm like really super excited about that. So. Thank you, Tammy, for sending me these. And thank you, Frog, for the giveaway on your channel. Um, I, I don't win very many things. And I don't mind giving back. Oh, and Adriana, if I go over something uh, for the eyeliners today that I have in stock, if you don't have... Uh, 
that palette has some issues frog um or at least i've had some issues with the palette it has a few difficult shades but the shades most of them work really well um but i have a couple of eyeliners that i pulled just in case you wanted to use them in a look but i did pull um, a couple of different brands but i also pulled the ones that i used to make so if you like any of the colors that i pulled i will be more than happy to mail you whatever shade that you want providing i still have it in stock okay so getting into the nitty gritty adriana is doing a themed wedding you're welcome and um she's doing a masquerade themed wedding her dress is this beautiful mermaid style dress with the um tiered out uh feature the flared out feature from like the knees down oh it's beautiful um she's doing like a black type wedding cake like black and white or black and white and gold themed for like her um, table designs and the color story and stuff like that. And I was like, I was like, uh oh, I, I look laggy. Please don't lag out. Um, so anyways, the, um, I got to thinking and when she said masquerade, the first thing that I thought of was a big, beautiful peacock feather. And let me pull up the pictures we got talking about like colors that she would like to see and she was thinking like greens and purples and i was thinking like the gem toned uh greens and blues and purples and like a splash of gold so then she was asking um, about like help for um designing like the tables for the the dinner or the dessert table or things like that so she told me like what she was thinking of where she would go to get certain things so i went through the websites and I'm like linking things and linking things. I'm like, oh, this is pretty. And oh my God, look at this. And oh, this comes in this color, this color, and this color. So I went nuts. Um, so this was the first picture that I found. This is peacock feathers. And where I grew up, we had peacocks that ran wild in our neighborhood. So I know um, I'm very familiar with peacock feathers. I used to collect them when I was a kid we would chase them off our roofs because they went scratch up the shingles and um hello there we go and then i looked for peacock feather makeup looks and i came across this one which is absolutely stunning So she's got the green and the blue, and that's not the shade of green that I would use. I would use something more of like an emerald, um, a real rich emerald green. So Adriana and I talked about that and so I, I got thinking about what eyeshadow palettes that I had could I pull to do a, 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 a like cohesive makeup look with one or two, two items or one or two palettes because I know weddings cost a lot of money. I have been married twice. I know 
know just by by doing like the courthouse kind of wedding how expensive stuff can be with the dress and doing a, a, a game at in the park, park, park kind of thing. Yeah, I'm like, So, oh, I pulled four BH pallets. And, and we, we talked about color story. Okay. 